A drill guide makes it easy to start a hole without worrying about the drill bit slipping, and it guarantees that your holes will be straight. With additive manufacturing, we can print drill guides that conform to the surface of any part, and AM drill guides are easy to design and end top. When you're drilling on a complex curved surface such as a winglet on an airplane, it's important the holes are perfectly straight and normal to that surface. With NTOP, you can design these jigs automatically with a workflow that conforms perfectly to the surface of any part. These tools can be complex to design in CAD software, but NTOP simplifies the process. Hello everyone, Yuki from NTOP, and I want to show you how we can design a drill jig for an airplane winglet. Let's dive right in. We aim to take this winglet, generate a drill jig, and use it to drill holes normal to the surface of the winglet. First, we imported the winglet we want to create the drill guide for. We then created points where we wanted our holes to be. These point lists can be exported from CAD as a table and imported as points or created directly in NTOP to help design the jig. From those points, we created a curve and thickened the curve using Boolean operations to create our initial jig. Within a couple of steps, we created a jig that conforms to our curved surface. From this, we want to create holes to guide the drill a chip evacuation channel for the shavings to escape, and cooling channels to prevent the drill from overheating. Let's start with the guiding holes. We can use the points we exported to evaluate the normal of the curved surface and create holes normal to the surface. By creating line segments and thickening them, we can generate the holes on our jig, which will help guide the drill. Moving on to our chip evacuation channels. Using the points again, we can generate basic shapes, place them in the right locations, orient them, and use some boolean operations to create the channels. This will help remove the shavings without them piling up. Now lastly, our cooling channels. We can connect those points to create a curve, and with the curve, we can thicken them and boolean subtract away from the jig to create our cooling channel. So this will help create some airflow in the channel on the jig itself to prevent the drill and the panel from overheating. Now with our guide holes, chip evacuation channels, and cooling channels created, we have our final part. Now what if we wanted to change the guide hole size, the chip evacuation channel size, or the cooling channel size? We can go back to our workflow, pull out some important variables, and make this workflow parametric. With the key variables available up here, and with the power of implicits, we can make quick changes and get a new design in seconds. We can take this even further by making this workflow reusable. If I brought in a completely differently shaped winglet, I could change a couple of inputs within the workflow and recreate a whole new drilling guide without recreating the entire workflow for this part, saving us time. And lastly, once we're satisfied with the final part, we can mesh this, export it, and get it printed. Drilling holes into surfaces must be done perfectly, especially on a plane component like a winglet. With NTOP's modeling capabilities, we can create conformal drill guides to ensure that perfect hole. And with the reusable workflow capability, we can create multiple drill guides in seconds by importing points and importing different winglets. Design more efficiently and create a product that works using NTOP. I hope you got a good understanding of how drill guides can be made using NTOP. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If NTOP could improve your design workflow, request a demo and talk to an NTOP expert. If you're already an NTOP user and want to download the file, check below the video and download the files here. Lastly, if you like this video and want to learn more about NTOP, go to ntop.com under resources and videos, check out our videos here. Thank you.